Welcome to Checkpoint Jumpstart Training Series. In this training series, we'll be looking at different Checkpoint CloudGuard product lines. Checkpoint CloudGuard is a suite of products and solutions that can secure your data and virtual networks in the cloud. My name is Manuel Joaquin, and I will be your technical trainer for this training module. I would like now to show you a demonstration of CloudGuard and how to deploy it in the cloud environment. In this lab, we're going to deploy a Microsoft Azure cloud environment, but I'm going to make some basic assumptions. I'm going to assume that you have some basic knowledge of Checkpoint products and know how to configure a standard management station and a traditional Checkpoint gateway, and that you're here to learn how to deploy it in the cloud. And also, I'm going to assume that you're new to the cloud. And so I'm going to primary focus on what is new or different with a cloud deployment. What is different between the regular gateway and the cloud gateway. But first, let me give you a big picture overview of the lab. In this lab, we're going to deploy one VNet, three subnets, a management station, a gateway, and a web server. We're going to launch and interconnect all the components and to create a firewall policy and rules to make it all function and connect to the internet. We're going to break down this lab into small steps. These steps will be broken down into five separate exercises. I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to deploy a cloud guard gateway into the cloud. And you can also come back and reference these separate exercises as needed during your own cloud guard deployment journey. Let's get started with the first exercise. Exercise one, how to build an Azure private cloud environment. In this first exercise, we're going to deploy a VNet, the virtual network in Microsoft Azure, which will be automatically connected to the internet. After building our virtual network, you cannot just add virtual machines to the virtual network. You must first configure your subnets. And then within your subnets, you can then add your virtual machines. In total in this lab, we are going to configure three separate subnets. But at the minimum, when deploying a cloud guard, you need to have two subnets. And this is by design for optimal cloud guard deployment. And I'll explain why as we progress. Once we have created VNet, we will then create our first subnet. We will call it the front end subnet. The second subnet, we will call it the back end subnet. This is going to be our first lab. Let me show you how to do this. Connect to your Azure account, go to the main launch menu, and then go to your virtual networks. We're going to create our first virtual network, our first virtual private cloud. Let's select create virtual network. We need to fill in the fields as follows. The subscription, I only have one subscription in my account, so we'll leave it as is. The resource group in my account, I have a few resources already created for me. I'm going to select the first one, but depending on your subscription and your account, you might need to create a new resource group. My account permissions do not allow me to create a new resource group. So I will need to select one of these pre-built-in ones. Now for the name, what do you want to call your virtual network? You can be as creative as you like. I'm going to call mine my VNet to keep it simple. I will keep the region as the default. That works for me, but you can select whichever region you're in or better yet, what region your customer base is in. Let's go to the next screen. You just need to click on the next field, IP addressing. Here, we're going to define the network address range for the virtual network. You can select whatever address range that you like. This is going to be a private range. It should not be accessible from the internet, at least not now. Again, I'm going to keep the defaults. 10.0.0.0 slash 16, which is a class B network. This will give me a really big wide range to create my subnets in. Now I need to create a subnet so I can place my VMs in it. 
The default is fine, but I want to change the name. I will change the name to front end. You'll see why later. I will keep the default subnet, which is a slash 24. 10.0.0.0 slash 24 is a subnet of my VPC range of slash 16. Let's select save. Now I want to create a second subnet. So let's select as subnet. This second subnet, I'm going to call it the back end subnet to differentiate it from the front end subnet. I will again use a slash 24, which is within my slash 16 VPC range. 10.0.1.0 slash 24. Again, we select save. Let's move forward to the next screen, select security. We'll keep the security settings the same. No changes are required here. Let's move to the next screen, select tags. I'm not going to put any tags right now, but I could if I wanted to. The tags can be used to search for this resource later during the rule-based creation and deployment. But for now, let's just select next. Review and create. The Azure software will verify that all my selections are copacetic and that nothing is wrong. If there was any mistakes, I will need to correct them now. If everything is fine, I just need to select create. The Azure server will now create my virtual network, my two subnets under my account and subscription in my region of choice. Let's select the deployment icon. It tells me that the deployment is in progress and I just have to wait for it to complete. In this case, it is fast and the deployment is completed quickly. Let's select go to resource to see what we have created. So we created a VPC called my VNet. Then if you go to the subnet tab, we will see the two subnets that I have created inside my VNet VPC. We have the front end subnet and the back end subnet. The front end subnet is 10.0.0.0 slash 24 and the backup subnet is 10.0.1.0 slash 24. To recap, we created a VNet 10.0.0.0 slash 16 in the Azure environment. We then created inside this VNet two subnets. The first subnet, we call it the front end with a network of 10.0.0 slash 24 and we created a backend subnet with a range of 10.0.1.0 slash 24. That completes the end of exercise one. In the next exercises, we will populate these subnets with virtual machines. I'll see you there.